Hi everyone, today I will show you how to design hero section in Elementor. So let's begin. Alright, so to design the hero section in the Elementor, first of all what you need to do, you have to install the Elementor. Okay, so for that we have to go inside the plugins and click on add new plugin. And here you have to search for Elementor. Okay, so as you can see here, the Elementor is already installed on my website. So I have to update this. All right, so this is how you can install the Elementor and you can then go inside the install plugins. And if the Elementor is not activated, you can simply activate this from here. Okay, so after this, I'm going to go inside the pages. And here I would basically create a new page for our hero section. Okay, so let's click on add new page. All right, so here I'll just give a name to our page. Let's just write it as a hero section. So now let's click on edit with Elementor. All right, so as you can see here that we are inside the Elementor editor. And now we're going to build our hero section. Okay. So for the hero section, we're going to have the single column structure first. And in here, I will basically go here with the full width. And here in the advanced, the margin and the padding values would be zero. All right. And now I would basically add the background image. Okay, so let's go into the background, click on the image here, click on the classic, click on the image. And from here, in the free images that are free to use. So I'm going to write down car. Alright, so now I'm going to change the orientation so it would be landscape. Perfect. Alright, so I would go here with this image. So let's click on download. Perfect. So now what we have to do, we actually have to change the height of our EO section. So let's go into the layout and let's just add the height here. Okay, so this would be around 800 pixels. Okay, so now we're going to go into the style and in here we're going to change some settings here. So this would be basically repeat that would be no repeat. And in here in the display side, I would go here with the cover. All right, so now this is looking better. And after this, we'll basically add the background overlay. Okay, so in the background overlay, I would go here with the darker color. All right, so this is looking better. So now we're gonna have the heading. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into our add element and I would add the container. Basically, I would add the two containers. So let's click on the add element. So let's add a new container again. Perfect. Okay, so now one thing that I need to do here that I wanted to have the column into the horizontal direction. Okay, so for that, I would click on the main container, go into the layout, and I will change the direction here to the horizontal. Okay, so the thing is that I wanted to have this part as the empty part, and here I will be basically adding my heading. So let's just go back and let's just add the heading here. Perfect. And similarly, I would also add the paragraph. So let's add the paragraph and after this we can have the button as well. So for the button, I'm going to add the container and the container would have the horizontal direction. Perfect. So now let's just add two buttons into it. Let's just add the second button as well. All right. Okay. So now what we have to do here, I'm going to click on this container on our this container and I have to put this into the center. Perfect. And the first thing that I need to do, I have to edit my heading here. So let's just write down leading luxury car. And now I'm going to go into the style. Okay, so in this style, I will simply go here with the white color. And now what I have to do, I have to go inside the typography. And I will change the font size of my heading. So this will be probably this size. All right, so I think this is looking fine. Yeah, this is looking better. And now I'm going to change the color of my paragraph. So let's click on the text color here. Let's just go here with kind of grayish color. All right. And what we can do here, we can also go into the typography. We can increase or decrease the font size here. All right. So I think this is looking better. Okay. And one thing that we can do here into the leading luxury car, I can do one thing into the typography that I can decrease the line height. All right, so I think this is looking fine. Yeah, this is looking better. And we can also play around with the second one, but I think this is looking okay. 
Okay, so let's just make it look bigger. All right, so this is fine. Okay, so this is looking better. Now what we have to do, we have to change the design of my button. Okay, so I'm gonna have the white buttons with the black text. Okay, but first thing that I have to do here is to add the border radius that would be zero. And I would also apply the same styling on the second one, but let's just right now put it like this. Perfect. Okay, so the first thing that I have to do here is to change the color of it. So the color of it would be black and the text color would be white. Okay, but when I do the hover, it should be the reverse. The text color should be black and the background color should be white. Perfect. All right, so now this is looking good. So let's go back into the content and I will add some text here. All right, so the first one is the contact us and the second one would be probably let's say buy now or something like this. All right, so now we're going to copy the styling of my first button. Let's just click on the copy and paste the style here. Okay, so now this is looking better and I really like the design here. All right, so this is looking perfect. All right, so now let's click on publish and now let's click on view page here. All right, so now you can see our hero section but I need to make some changes into it so let's go back okay perfect so one thing that I have to do is to go back into the main container go into the style and I have to change the position here so this would be probably center center okay and now let's just publish this and let's just refresh this all right so now this is looking far more better okay so one thing that I can do here is to add some spacing before our uh, heading here and the text and the section basically okay so i'm going to go back here and let's just add some spacing so click on the container and i would basically go into the advanced settings add the padding on the left side so i would probably add 30 px or we can go here with 60 px as well okay so let's just click on publish again and go back into our previous site refresh the page now this is looking better okay one thing that we can do here if i wanted to have the transparent menu on our hero section so how can we do this so to have the transparent menu we have to click on the customize and i'm using the astro theme here so you have to make sure of that all right so in here what we have to do we have to go inside the header builder and here we have the transparent header as you can see here so let's click on this and in here First, you have to enable this on the complete website. All right. And after this, what you have to do, obviously, we have to add the logo that can look better on our transparent background. So I'm going to have my logo in the white color. So let's click on the change image. And let's just choose the logo here. Click on the choose image. And I have to do the same thing on this retina logo as well. So let's click on change image. Click on the logo, click on the choose image. Perfect. So now let's click on publish. All right. So now what you have to do, we actually can go back to our edit hero section. And here, let's just click on the view page. And now you will be able to see our hero section with the transparent header. And if I just move my cursor over my buttons, you can see this. It is changing its color on the hover. All right. So one thing that we missed here is to make our design. A responsive design okay so how can we make our design a responsive so first we're going to click on the different screen sizes so first we're going to go here with the tablet portrait okay so in the tablet portrait we have to adjust our elements uh, based on our size okay so the first thing that i need to do here i think i need to decrease the size of the height so let's click on the main container and decrease the height here perfect this is looking better okay now i need to do i actually have to decrease the size of our heading here so let's click on our style click on the typography decrease the size here i think this is looking perfect and we can decrease the line height as well okay this is looking better okay so in the buttons what i need to do here i think i need to change the phone size here so let's click on the button go to the style and we have to go inside the typography from here now we have to change the font size here all right this is looking better 
all right so we're going to do the same thing here with our second button so let's just change this to the 10 px as well now this is looking better okay so now our design is responsive on the template version now we have to make it responsive on the mobile version so let's click on the mobile version okay so in the mobile version the first thing that i have to do here is to hide this container because we don't need this so let's click on the advanced and here we have to go into the responsive hide this on the mobile portrait perfect and now what we have to do we have to change the font size of our adding so let's just decrease this i think this will look better okay so one thing that we have to do is uh, align this into the center similarly we're going to align our paragraph into the center okay so one thing that we have to do into our main container we have to remove the padding that we have done on the left side so i think this is the container yeah so let's click on the advanced settings and put this value to the zero okay so now this is looking better and now what we have to do okay so i think we can add some padding onto our heading and also onto our paragraph so let's just add this from the left to right side so from the right side it would be the 10 px from the left side it would be the 10 px now this is looking better similarly on our paragraph we're going to do the same thing so this will be 10 from the right side and 10 from the left side now this is looking better now one thing that we have to do here is to align our buttons into the center okay so for that we gotta simply click on here and the justify content and now you will be able to see that our buttons are into the center okay so the last thing that i have to do here is actually add the space from the top side so let's click on the main container and let's just add the padding from the top side so let's just add the 30 px here and now this is looking better so now if you go back into a desktop our desktop version is looking good after that we have our tablet version that is also looking good and in the end we are having our portrait version so one thing that you can do here in the buttons if you wanted to put them vertically one by one so you can simply click on the main container and change the direction to the vertical and then what you have to do you have to click on the button and on the button in this style you will actually stretch the position so that it can cover the all the available space so we're going to do the same thing into the same button as well and now this is looking better and we can also do one thing here into our main container that we can decrease the width here so let's just go here with maybe 80% or maybe we can go here with the 50% perfect okay so now one thing that we have to do here is to click our main container and in here we actually have to put the content into the center all right so now this is looking perfect so this is how you can make your design responsive in the elementor and this is how we can design the hero section in elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel